Hey guys, Joseph here with Engadget, and uh, I have in my hand an update uh, to Sony's uh, Xperia tablet line. This is the Xperia Tablet Z. Now, if the name and or the design look familiar to you, that's because it's sort of borrowing from the same family as the Xperia Z, uh, which is Sony's premium flagship phone, which we just saw at this past CES. A um, couple of things in terms of design that they both have in common. You see this omni-balanced design. So you have the same sort of uh, polyamide tempered glass here on the sides, and then on the back, we'll show you really quick, you have this nice uh, soft matte feeling graphite. Um, now this is uh, Android Jelly Bean, this is running Android 4.1.2, so it will run the uh, same sort of software build that you'll see on the Xperia Z and the ZL. Um, bunch of differences from the Xperia Tablet S. The uh, Xperia Tablet S was the uh, first tablet under Sony's line to fall into the Xperia brand. This one is sort of unifying uh, the line across mobile uh, and tablets, much more so. Um, now we have the 10.1-inch uh, screen, and the resolution has been bumped up. Uh, we, ha we now have a 1920 by uh, 1200 uh, display, and it is uh, the same sort of IPS panel. Uh, this is also being powered by mobile, uh, mobile Bravia Engine 2, which you can go ahead and turn on and off uh, in the settings, um, and that's for photos and video, so it's not going to have much of an effect on your home screens or, or any content that you're looking at. Um, and again, you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of uh, preloaded apps from Sony. Uh, most notably, aside from Walkman, album, movies, you're getting a TV side view, which we'll go into a bit more. Um, that's not a new app for Sony, but the update they are pushing out uh, does a lot more uh, with uh, television cable um, programming integration. So uh, let's go ahead and just take a quick tour of the device here. Um, as you can see, uh, the uh, perimeter sort of uh, stick up just like they do on the Z, and that's because this is uh, certified for IP5 and 7, which is giving you dustproof and waterproof protection. Um, over here are the covered flaps. This is for the uh, headphone jack. We'll see if we can pop that open for you. You'll want to have some nails if you uh, go ahead and purchase this tablet so you can open those, but you can go ahead and see uh, when you pop it open, uh, it's still tethered in. There's the uh, headphone jack. Um, right here, this is, uh, if you'll notice, a uh, signature design for the Xperia line. This is the um, circular power button, and if you can really get in close on the details, you can see uh, right there has a little icon uh, etched in. Uh, next to it here, a bit recessed, is the uh, volume rocker. It's nice and sturdy. Over here you have um, the uh, wireless charging. And then down here uh, at the bottom, uh, something nice that we like to see on tablets, uh, this is where the speakers are mounted. So they're not on the back, they're on the lower sides. So when you're holding onto the tablet, it won't obfuscate the sound. All right, now down here uh, at the bottom, this is where you're going to find the uh, uh, MHL port. So you can go ahead for any sort of uh, HDMI connectivity uh, that you need. It's right there. And then on the other edge, over here under this flap, uh, this is from micro SD. Now when we go ahead and open it up and you look inside, you're going to see that there's also a, a dummy port uh, for a micro SIM. And now this is because this is a uh, NTT Docomo model, uh, which was launched previously when the tablet was first announced. Um, no word yet on what sort of uh, network connectivity options you're going to get in the US when this launches, uh, but you can see here there is a micro SD and that supports up to uh, 64 gigabytes of storage. Now um, the uh, Xperia Tablet Z will come in two models, uh, two pricings. So you'll have $499 for a black version that's uh, 16 gigabytes of storage. And then you'll have the 32 gigabyte version, uh, and that's $599, and will come in black and white if you're so inclined to have uh, that color palette. So we'll just quickly show you here on the home screen. It's the same sort of uh, UI that we've seen. It's very light from Sony, uh, featuring the same backgrounds. You have the icons here. One thing that is consistent from the Xperia Tablet S is you have this dock at the top. It's an overlay uh, where you can pin different Google uh, shortcuts over here. And then you can obviously, just by tapping that, customize what widgets and whatnot you want to add. And then here you can quickly access the app drawer. And you can see it's a pretty uh, bare bones offering. Sony hasn't gone and preloaded this uh, to death like you see on a lot of other products. Okay, and as you can see here, we're looking at TV Side View, which is uh, one of the apps that uh, is a major part of the connectivity story here for the Xperia Tablet Z. And as you can see in the background, uh, there is actually a television that is an LG, um, so you don't have to necessarily have a Sony branded product. But basically what this does is, uh, as you can see, these tiles that are scrolling, um, that's uh, live TV programming that's on air now. Um, and what it does is when you go through the initial setup, 
uh, you put in your zip code and your service provider and it will pull in uh, from the internet uh, those programming the guide information. Um, also there is a metadata based on Gracenote which is owned by Sony so you can get full cast crew related content and Twitter but we're going to get a quick demo now of how uh, using the tablet and using TV side view you can actually go ahead and control the content on your television and swap channels. So for example if we wanted to watch Top Chef we go ahead and with this neat animation where it sort of spins out it will actually go ahead and swap the channel on the television. Now it's not necessarily throwing the content to the TV, it is just sending the instruction uh, to change the channel. Uh, and if you're wondering if uh, the TV remote app is still on the uh, tablet, it is. Uh, you still have your macro functionality for that so you can uh, arrange your home networks uh, with the uh, remote there. Uh, but this is more so you can sift through all the different viewing options um, and do a more social experience uh, or go ahead and check out listings. Alright, so that's the uh, Xperia Tablet Z. Uh, look for it to hit sometime in May uh, for $4.99 and $5.99 in 16GB and 32GB offerings. This is Joseph with Engadget. Thanks for watching.